Hi, it's Neil here from Farmatis Software. We'd just like to introduce a new element um, called Feature Focus. And from time to time, we're gonna be releasing a little video which pinpoints certain aspects of the software that you might not be aware of, and we feel as though they may be benefit to you. So please watch this little clip. It's currently about the console screen within Cattle and I hope it is of benefit. And please keep an eye out, there'll be more feature focus elements to follow. Thanks now. Go to Cattle, go to On Farm and Events. Top right hand corner, you'll see a small little black icon. That opens up the console screen. The console screen automatically expands to the full screen and starting on the top left hand corner you'll see not connected and not connected. Now as the tooltip says these are for the EID reader and the weigh scale. So should you want to take as some people do a laptop running our program to the crush and connect it to a reader and a weigh scale the console screen will pick up the tag and the weight and pre-populate the inputs box as seen below. So if I just randomly type in a number and pick an animal, you'll see that it finds its tag number. The cursor immediately goes to the weight input box where you could type in a weight and the animal appears on the grid at the right hand side. Now the middle section, the outputs, is all about the life data of the animal. Now these can be set up in many many different ways using again the default options via the little cog in the top right hand corner. And as you notice each section, the input section, and the output section have these little cogs and to the right via a little printer again you have your grid setup and options so to customize the screen on the left hand side you have your inputs and if I click on the little cog again we can include the body condition score TB test PD and obviously the weight so if I click OK that includes all of the inputs. So as the animals in the crush you could choose the weight, the PD result, TB test or body condition score. Obviously you probably won't have these switched on all at the same time so you can just then make sure that you customize it in your own way. You can also perform a little spot treatment by clicking on the little icon up there and use the treatments in the usual method. You can right click on the little magnifying glass to the right hand side of the tag and this will search on either ear tag, management tag or name, ear tag ends with or particularly management tag. Very useful if you use management tags rather than the official UK tag. You can do many more different things to customize this. If I right click on the outputs you'll notice you can go up down or go to settings. You can go right up to the top right hand corner up here where it says console settings which little, little uh, tools icon up here top right hand corner and this allows you to do even more customization and where it has the outputs you can actually add to the column so if I put a number two in there this will actually add another column. It'll obviously reduce the grid on the right hand side but it'll add another outputs column. Perhaps you want to just make it more prominent when you're looking at it. Last but not least the grid to the right hand side operates exactly the same way as the grids within Farm Matters. So if you want to right click and go to grid setup this is exactly the same huge list of options and columns that you get in Catalan Farm. So you can customize the grid to the right hand side. And there's animal notes at the bottom which would bring in the animal notes from Farm Matters. 
and once the animals have gone through the crush you're happy with the session you can click finish this will automatically put the date the time of the session and then save you can also on finish choose to do a particular event but if you just click save this will automatically save the session and then you can review it via the open batch icon top right hand corner and again there's the session where you can right click go to events and then choose to do an event based on the number of animals and the animals within that session so the console screen is a very versatile option for people that want to take farm matters to the crush perhaps can connect it to an EID reader going forward or particularly Wayscale or perhaps just use it manually to see an awful lot more details of a particular animal while you're at the crush to make certain decisions. Anyway I hope this helps and uh, as always happy to help get in touch anytime to discuss this further. Thanks very much.